It's the TGIF edition of Weather for Weather Geeks, Nerds, Weather Enthusiasts, and those who are really concerned about the weather for the upcoming weekend. I've gotten a lot of comments on social media this week about their weekend, uh, for, uh, from people who have weekend plans. And the forecast, unfortunately, today for the weekend had to take a kind of a sharp left turn. We hate doing that at the last minute, but uh, the models all kind of clued on to something at the same time over the last 12 to 18 hours, and that meant we had to make some uh, fairly sizable changes to the ideas for the weekend. So we're going to talk about that in this video. But first, a quick review of today. It uh, got up to 82 this afternoon, 7 above the average. Record today, way out of reach at 99. No rain at the airport today. The only places that had rain in our viewing area today, far southern parts of Columbiana County. Otherwise, uh, we have been high and dry. We did 82 locally today. It was 83 at Hopkins Airport in Cleveland, 82 in Pittsburgh, and New Philly hit 85 this afternoon. All right, real quickly before we head back home, I want to show you uh, this n item of interest. This is a hurricane. In fact, it's a strong hurricane. This is in the uh, eastern Pacific. Here's the uh, Baja of California right here. Here's Mexico, of course, Texas up here. Uh, this is moving away, of course, from land, but uh, it's still notable. It's you know, a little early in the season for a hurricane this strong. Aleta is a Category 4 with maximum winds of 140, some gusts to 165, and the pressure all the way down to 943 millibars. Where is Aleta going? Well, it's uh, heading to the west, and it's going to run into some colder water, and it's going to weaken rather quickly. In fact, this will probably be a depression by the end of the weekend, or perhaps into uh, into Monday. So uh, this will head into a much more unfavorable environment pretty soon. So this is a fish storm. It really doesn't have any impact on any land, but it is notable. So I wanted to show you that this evening. All right, our, our radar is quiet when I recorded this at 7-Eleven th this evening. We did have some thunderstorms at that point off to our south, but they're off to our south. These are not coming our way. Pittsburgh area getting hit, uh, Wheeling, Steubenville as well, and uh, some heavy storms back towards the Mansfield area. In fact, one of these clusters of storms, again, when I recorded this, had a warning on it uh, down here in the panhandle of West Virginia around uh, Wellsburg and just south of Steubenville. And this heads over towards uh, Washington, PA. Primary reason, actually, for this is uh, hail. These uh, storms all afternoon have had a history of producing some hail, and this one's no exception. It's producing uh, probably some three quarters of an inch to perhaps one inch in diameter hail in the northern panhandle of West Virginia around Steubenville and then heading over across the state line in the PA. A lot of hail producers today, they had hail earlier on today in parts of the Columbus metro area up towards Mansfield as well, and then down I-75 into western Ohio around Dayton into the Cincinnati area, dealing with some hail-producing storms uh, earlier on today. Dew points locally are as good as it gets across the entire state of Ohio. It is muggy in most spots. Our dew points are manageable. It's kind of humid out there, yeah, that's for sure. But, you know, a dew point of 59 in June is really not that big of a deal. Notice uh, the difference between, say, Ohio and New York State. We've got a, a cold front pushing through with a little surge of drier air up here in Buffalo and Rochester. And this front is what's going to hit the brakes and stall and lead to our forecast challenges for the upcoming weekend. Even though we'll be dry this evening, we have some kind of debris clouds from those storms to our south. So it's probably not going to be great to check out the space station this evening. If you get lucky, maybe the clouds will be thin enough. This is a pretty good pass. This will be a high bright one, reaching a maximum elevation of 83 degrees. That's almost straight overhead. Uh, in the sky for about four minutes, starting at 919, appearing in the west-southwest sky, disappearing southeast. If conditions look good enough, I'll send out a reminder on social media and on the Storm Tracker 21 app. Don't want to advertise it too much, though, if it's going to be kind of a bummer of a pass with <laughs> too many clouds around. All right, uh, we'll have the clouds for a lot of the night tonight. It, not much rain coming out of those. Maybe there's a spotty shower later on tonight into Saturday morning. Uh, there could be a shower, but the trends for the weekend... Saturday's been trending drier. Sunday's been treading, trending wetter. Neither day is going to be a washout. Neither day is going to be one of those days where it rains from start to finish. In fact, I think each day there's going to be several hours of dry time. It's just, if you have plans outdoors, you know, it's going to be just you know, luck of the draw kind of a thing. With this uh, front in the vicinity tomorrow, we're just off to our north. Uh, we're talking about uh, maybe some dry intervals in the morning, and then best chance for rain, I suspect, on Saturday will be right here in the afternoon, mid-afternoon. That doesn't mean the morning's totally dry. I can't rule out a couple of showers tomorrow morning, but I think the odds are a little higher as we get into the afternoon. Now, again, the difference in the modeling from the last few days to today, uh, before it looked like this front would settle more like down here. And instead, it's settling, uh, what is that, I don't know, 75, 100 miles to the north at most. 
but that has big implications for our forecast. So Sunday is a cloudier day, and we have to keep the risk of wet weather in throughout the day. You know, earlier we, we called for maybe a stray shower in the morning early. Nice dry afternoon with lowering dew points. Just doesn't look like we can, we can manage that with this front in the vicinity. Now, the end of the day, our in-house model here showing that little surge of dry air. Maybe we hang in the clouds, but the rains to our south. I have, a low, conf I have low confidence in this solution. Um, this may be right, but I'm not real confident in it. I think odds are just as high that some showers still linger in Northeast Ohio through the end of the daylight hours on Sunday. So make sure you're checking in with Andrew and AJ over the course of the weekend. They'll have uh, frequent updates on, on this. It's, this is a pretty low confidence forecast. It's all about where this front decides to settle in. 20 to 30 miles can make a really big difference. I do think we are going to dry things out by Monday. So right now, this is what I have for our hourly rain chances. But stay tuned, as they say, uh, because we'll be adjusting these as we get closer to Saturday morning and into uh, Sunday as well. As we get um, higher resolution, better models in, we'll be able to adjust these. Right now I have Sunday kind of a generic uh, with a 60% chance many hours of the day. We'll be able to adjust this up and down as we get closer and have a better idea. The idea for, for Saturday is, yes, each hour of the day there is a chance for rain, but the chances never get that high. I might have to adjust a couple of these hours up in the afternoon on Saturday, but the overall idea is, you know, if you've got a pool party or a graduation party or something planned on Saturday, um, make sure you're checking the interactive radar often on the Storm Tracker 21 app. Make sure you're checking that hour by hour forecast because Andrew will be updating that tomorrow morning. Uh, and, uh, you know, we'll keep you up to date, but this is going to be a tough weekend for for forecasting. This is, you know, if you want my job, <laughs> try figuring out this weekend. It isn't easy. All right, uh, the weekend outlook, uh, temperature-wise, not that hot. It's going to be kind of muggy, but it's not going to be a hot weekend. We're going to be mostly in the 70s, thanks to plenty of clouds around. Beyond the weekend, next week, as I've been talking about, does not look hot, but it does look warm, warmer than average. Uh, a lot of 70, upper 70s and lower 80s for next week. What about the longer range? Well, as we go into the 8 to 14 day period, and this will uh, cover Father's Day weekend and into the following week, doesn't look like a abnormally cool pattern. It doesn't look like a hot pattern either. There's a decent chance of uh, a handful of days where the temperatures struggle to get up to average, which by Father's Day and beyond, our average is 77, 78 degrees. So a cooler than average day can still be 75. You know, it's just not, it's not the kind of pattern that uh, it's going to be strangely chilly. But we are not going to see any kind of upper 80s and 90s in this sort of a pattern in the medium range. So uh, good news for energy bills. Good news if you don't like really, really hot weather. Bad news if, if uh, you're a swimmer and you're anxious to, you, you got your pool open, your backyard pool, and you're anxious to get some use out of it. Eh, Mid-June doesn't look all that hot for, for pool weather. What about rain? It's getting slightly, and I mean slightly dry across the region. Um, it's not been as wet lately as it was back earlier in the spring. Um, we could use a little rain, you know, it's right now it's not a big deal, but if we continued in a dry pattern, dry-ish pattern for another couple of weeks, we'd start to get a little bit concerned about how dry it's getting. So uh, some rain would not be necessarily a bad thing for agricultural interests, of course, and in the 8 to 14 day period, odds are tilting in the direction of a somewhat wetter than average period. All right, hope you have a good weekend, everyone. I'll uh, chime in on social media a couple times this weekend with a weather update. But again, make sure you're following meteorologist Andrew DePaulo and meteorologist AJ Harris. They are weekend warriors, and they'll uh, keep you up to date on air, online, on social media as well. Go Cavs tonight. <laughs> we'll see. I'll see you back here on Monday.